Hi, I'm Dr. Arthur Bradley, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about digital contact tracing and how you might want to prevent that. So uh, the idea behind it is we're obviously all in the middle of this COVID-19 outbreak, and it's very important that if a person is, uh, gets sick and comes in contact with other people, that they notify those other people that they've been potentially exposed. Um, and I think all of us appreciate and understand the importance of that. So I'm not advocating against contact tracing in any way. What, what happened though is there's recently been legislation and, and lots of discussions and other countries have already started enacting this where they're doing digital contact tracing through your cell phones. And some of it can be unauthorized. And so you haven't necessarily agreed to be uh, tracked in all positions wherever you go at all times, but they, they now would possess the ability to do that. And the idea is simple enough. Your, your cell phone provider knows where your phone is at all times. Um, and so if you came into an area that they considered to be uh, some kind of a dangerous area where a person who had the virus came through, they could then notify you that, hey, you were in Walmart at 1235 and somebody else was in there that had this virus. You should, you know, quarantine yourself or something like that. And while that all sounds harmless enough and perhaps even a great idea, some people worry about the privacy aspect of that. And that is that maybe they don't want to be tracked all of the time wherever they go and they feel like it's an invasion of their privacy. And, and I understand that, and I can certainly appreciate that view. So the question then becomes, if you feel that way, and you're like, well, I, I don't wanna always be able to be tracked, especially if it's against my knowledge, um, then how do you prevent it? it? Many of us live and die by our cell phones, so it's difficult to just say, well, leave your cell phone at home. Maybe your cell phone helps keep you safe. You can call for help or something. Um, so what I did is uh, I developed, I test, first I tested a whole bunch of products to see what worked well at blocking cell phone signals. I tested everything from little stickers that stick to the back to cases, um, pendants that you wear, lots of things. And what I found is that most of them did a very poor job at it. Um, I did find one product and it was a case very similar to this, sort of this gold metallic um, cloth, and it did a fantastic job. The problem was it was very expensive, it was like $65, and you could, after I bought the one, they were gone. You could never find them again. Uh, so I just think they discontinued them. And so what I did is I thought, well, this is a particularly useful product, not just for preventing digital contact tracing or just sort of going off the grid where you're not tracked, but also blocking the EMF emissions from your phone. Many people are worried about the harmful EMFs that might cause them some cellular damage. And so I ordered 500 of these cases, um, special made, uh, tested them when they came in. They provide about 99.99% uh, .99 reduction in the signal that your phone can either emit or receive. All right, so that's about 80 dB. Uh, and so, and they work great. Uh, I'll do a simple demonstration for you, but I've done it before on a previous video. The idea is if you put the phone inside the case and close it up, you will not be able to receive calls or texts. Now, that's obviously not great if you're waiting on calls, but it is great if you don't want anyone else to be able to track your phone, all right? It prevents the cell service from being able to detect a signal from your phone. All right, and it also prevents the emissions from your phone coming out uh, toward you. So I'll do a demonstration of that just to show you how the product works. Okay, so a simple demonstration. I've programmed in my cell phone number on my landline phone. I'm just gonna go ahead and do redial and you'll hear the phone ring. Okay, so the phone's ringing as well as my watch is ringing. I'll go ahead and hang that up. And so of course the system works fine. The, the phone goes to its tr uh, transmitter and goes to the phone service, ends up at the cell tower, talks to your phone, everything works fine. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna repeat it, but I'm gonna take the phone and put it inside of this, this pouch here. I'll seal it up, it's got a Velcro top. Now my phone is an iPhone XS Max, which is a pretty good size phone, but it still fits within the case comfortably. Uh, I will say this, if you have a phone uh, that is, has like a giant case on it, like an OtterBox case or something like that, this case would not be large enough to fit um, such a large you know, phone case inside of it. So now you could always take your phone out of the, the big OtterBox or something and put it in here when you went to town and didn't want to have uh, you know, your position monitored. But I just want to make everybody aware, take a good look at the size of your overall packaged phone before you order one of these pouches. Okay, I'll go ahead and do redial again. And what will happen is it won't ring the phone, it won't ring the watch, it'll just go to a voicemail after a moment. We'll go ahead and give it a minute. I'll put it on speaker, maybe then you can hear it. Oh, it's ringing, but we don't hear it ringing. Hello, you've reached Arthur Bradley. All right, and so, 
it's not able to make a connection. And again, that's because the pouch reduces the signal by about 99.99%. All right, so that's how the pouches work. Um, lots of people have ordered them and tried them out to make sure they work with their phone, and I recommend you do that. Um, so if you order one and you get it in, first thing you do is put the phone in there and see if you can call it or text it. Okay, make sure it works well for you. All right, so again, it wasn't developed to be an, a, a pouch to block contact tracing or prevent this digital contact tracing, um, but it does, it does serve that purpose if you're worried about your privacy, okay? Um, the other benefit of it is it does help to reduce the EMFs that come off of phones, which many people are worried about. All right, again, I wanna end by saying I'm not against contact tracing. I understand the importance of contact tracing. We're all in this uh, you know, battle against this COVID-19 together. I'm only trying to address the concerns that some people have about their privacy, and I think that's a reasonable concern for people to have. And this product is a, is a means by which they can prevent their phones from being tracked, okay? So anyway, thank you very much for your time, and I appreciate your comments that you might wanna post.